What's good, folks? It's your boy, the Mixed Monster, DJ Coach K here, and welcome to Ask a Real DJ. Now, before we get started, do me and yourself a favor. Like, love, follow, and subscribe to all my social media pages from Facebook to YouTube, if you haven't already. And when subscribing to YouTube, be sure to hit that bell on the side to get reminders of new videos coming out each and every Wednesday. Any other day you get a video from me, consider it a bonus. And now, here's this week's episode of Ask a Real DJ. All right, folks, it's your boy, the Mix Monster, DJ Coach K here. And, uh, well, we're going to talk about commandments three and four of the Ten Commandments for DJs. But first, let's do a quick rehash of one and two. All right. First commandment, practice. Bottom line. Second commandment, know thy lane. Plain and simple. All right. Now, number three, know the business side of being a DJ. This easily could be number one. The reason so many DJs get low bridged, undercut, not paid what they're worth is because they don't understand the business side of being a DJ. For starters, a lot of you need to lose that whole I DJ, you pay me now mentality. I get it, you're supposed to get paid, but be better than that for the long term to see greater returns on your investment. Also, learn the art of negotiation and, well, more importantly, learn how to network, all right? As I always tell people, whether you're a DJ or you're in business for yourself, in order to increase one's net worth, you have to network, all right? And I'm not talking about hitting someone up after they friend you and you're like, yo, listen to my mix. That's not networking. Get to know a person. Take the time. It works. Plus, learn how to read and write your own contracts or find a lawyer that's affordable that can help you with that. Trust me, in the long run, you don't want to see those legal fees. Believe me when I tell you, should you get sued or something of that nature. That's another thing. Make sure you get insurance, DJ insurance, okay? Get that. These things are important. Know the business side of being a DJ, whether you should be a... a, Self proprietor, uh, LLC, a C or S corporation, figure it out. Learn these things. Take time to study. This way, you won't be doing gigs or drink tickets or exposure or getting $50 when you should be getting $500. Okay? Let me give you a prime example of how you can really go about business. And I want you to think about this right now and I'm going to take boxing I'm going to use that as this analogy right now because I want you to see how a certain boxer has become so rich that it's ridiculous Floyd Mayweather great former boxing champion you either hate or you love him there's no in between yet here's the thing that separates him from so many boxing greats from the past the present and the future his business savvy See, the man was smart enough to know many hated him and they would pay buku dollars to see him lose and it never happened. Yet, the bottom line is he got filthy rich from doing it. Yeah, he took over his business because he knew the business side and he knew who he was and he knew what he was worth. That's the reason why Floyd Mayweather may not be in your top two, three, four, five, ten, whatever. Bottom line is he got rich because he understood the business and he's walking around with his health and not walking around punch drunk. Pay attention, man. Pay attention. Because I'm going to take you to number four right now on that note. Because exactly what I just talked about, this is what he did. He marketed thyself. He marketed himself. Okay. So I need you on number four to market thyself. You know, there is more to marketing than just posting your mixes on social media, tagging a bunch of people just to say, listen to my mix, I'm dope. Or going on live stream to say, look at me, I got skills. Newsflash, just being the most talented DJ these days doesn't cut it anymore. Because everybody from Marge Simpson to Paris Hilton to your mama is a DJ. 
So you got to stand up and you got to stand out. So do yourself a favor. Invest in yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, and financially. You might not agree with the last one, but I promise you this. You will see a difference when you learn how to market thyself financially. I'm not saying be over the top with your performance, but a shy DJ isn't who you want to be. And a lot of you are shy DJs. You need to come out that shell right now and show people why they want to follow you of all DJs in the world. Don't just show them in your mixes, show them in your personality. Do something that will stand out, that will make people say, yeah, that's the DJ I rock with, or that's my DJ, as they like to say. All right? Okay, folks, it's your boy, The Mix Monster. I'll see you next week for number five and number six of the Ten Commandments for DJs. All right? This is Ask a Real DJ, and it's your boy, The Mix Monster, DJ Coach K. I'm up. I'm out of here. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Salute. Deuces.